and aloha my name is calvin griffin you've probably seen me here on this channel and uh, for those who've seen me before you know that one of my big concerns is with the military and veterans community it's really disappointing nowadays when we hear so many people who claim to champion the rights of veterans and the military that don't seem to be living up or trying to make sure that the promises that were made to our military personnel were kept this is the 75th year of the anniversary of the um, World War II, and also the month June is the 50th anniversary for the Vietnam veterans. Over the years, we had a lot of different political initiatives or different things to change the VA system. And year after year and time after time, the veterans keep hearing the same thing about, well, we're trying to do this, it's in the works, it's going to happen. In the meantime, we have thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of veterans that have been affected. Many of them got to the point where they feel that there was no hope, where they're uh, basically backed into a corner, and the only out that they had they felt was suicide. And this is one issue that a lot of the so-called mainstream media doesn't want to talk about. But that and another a myriad of other things also. I think it's up to the veterans and also those out there in the community who really want to make sure that our veterans and military are taken care of, is to speak up. You got to find out what's happening because, again, as I mentioned, the mainstream press, they're not really covering all the important things that's going on. We have men and women, like say, over the years have put their careers on hold on the civilian side and who have dedicated their lives to our country and what it stands for. And yet and still, when they come home or in certain circumstances where they need assistance, not something where they're asked to be given, it's something that they've earned. And we as a people, we have an obligation to our veterans. There's a saying that's been attributed to George Washington that, um, you know, a country is judged by the way it treats its veterans. In the case, what we see nowadays, the way things are going, this country is going to be judged very harshly in the future by those who see how we treated our veterans and our military. Not everybody is in a bad position or hurting or whatever it is, but there are far too many people that are. And not only the active duty, and like say the reserves, and like say the veterans, it's their families also. We have many different instances where we see that dependents, people who are supporting our military personnel and our veterans, are suffering. Because there's times when whatever benefits they were told they were going to get hasn't materialized. And when that happens, what it does, it comes out of the pockets of these families. And in turn, that has dramatic impact on, on their well-being. And also it extends into the communities because if our government is not willing to live up their responsibility to take care of certain financial responsibilities as far as with the medical and some other issues that come about, then this falls back on the families and again it comes back to the communities where they have to either seek social services, things to alleviate some of the problems that they had. For me, I like say it's really unconscionable what's going on. I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's a lot of people out there that, you know, feel the same way. But the conversation or where it's leading, I mean, what's happening here is not being properly addressed. We need to do something for the sake of our country. Because when you have young people who want to make a decision on whether they're going to go with the private sector or they're going to go ahead and try to do something to, to serve their country, if they have friends, family, family, you know, family members that come back and say, well, this is what happened to me. You need to shy away from that. You know, it does have an effect on all of us. But we do have an obligation. And for me and a lot of other people to start railing and ranting and raving about the inequities in the system, that doesn't cut it. What we need to do is, again, put more pressure on our elected officials, the ones who represent you and me, to make sure that all these things that these people have earned is given to them, no more, no less. We have so many veterans out there who will actively say that, you know, there's someone else out there that's worse off than I am, you know, give it to them, you know? But it's, it's, it's just really boggles the mind for me to hear and see what's going on, the frustration. So not to belabor this, 
and on future programs I'll be talking about this more in depth with individuals who have more accurate information. So we're not just presenting something based on emotions, but something that's based on fact. And I think once you have the facts, I think, I hope that you'd be willing to do something, to stand up for those who stand up for us. And I'd just, I'd just like to thank all of you for continuing to watch the program, and we'll bring more information to you in the future about this and other related issues concerning our military and our community. And I want to thank you, and aloha.